Hey, you two battle community, Julie London fans, random people on the internet, my name is Giggins. Hey, welcome to my channel, nice to see you guys, and today we're talking about Julie London's album, About the Blues, released on Liberty Records, sometime in the late 50s. <laughs> I think Liberty Records was also the same label with the Chipmunks. Just a random, random fact to throw out there. This album uh, is cool because it follows a vibe. It's all about the blues. Every song on here has the word blues in the title, which I think is fascinating. It, it's almost like if ACDC made an album where every song was called rock and roll or something. It's, it's, I love that feel that, that like, okay, we have a plan, we're sticking to it, let's go. Uh, Julie London was, you know, really, really famous back in the day. She was in a ton of movies over like 35 years. She was on a TV show called Emergency with her husband, Bobby Troop, who also wrote like I think a couple of these songs are produced it, or he produced it, um, so that's pretty cool. But I love her voice, I love her, her tone, I love the way she pronounces the words. Uh, her voice is very, very unique, and I think makes for a great listen on this thing. Um, also, just look at that picture. She's just like, she looks like, do not mess with this, do not mess with me. Like, this is my album, I, I, I'm singing all these songs about the blues, look at my face, I've got the blues right here. Um, really really dig this thing so it starts off with a song called basin street blues and i love the intro to this thing it's got this real kind of like smoky vibe but like from far away there's a whole bunch of echo and all of a sudden it's like she walks up to the mic and then like the whole room just fills up with music and it sounds like she's like singing through your speakers i really love how they recorded this i'm not sure how they produce this but it sounds fantastic um it's got that cool jazz walking bass line kind of thing. I mean, the whole album is kind of a jazzy affair. Um, but it's a song about this place called Basin Street in New Orleans, which is apparently a cool hit place to hang out. And uh, that's where the blues is, down there on Basin Street. So, um, you know, there's moments where it's like kind of big and bombastic and then it goes back to the quieter things. And I like that flow throughout the whole song. I Got a Right to Sing the Blues is uh, kind of a, I, li I like the call and response vocals on this thing. Um, more of that like sweeping middle section where the, the, the in middle is this big bombastic thing before it goes back to either a more quiet section or a more subdued piece of music. Um, the, the huge horns on this thing, like the bombastic horns, I absolutely, I'm a sucker for that. It's, it sounds great. You know, I, I don't think it would sound too good on an MP3, but on vinyl, mm-hmm, great stuff. Um, a Nightingale Can Sing the Blues, I love her voice on this one. It's confident, but it's a little bit weary at the same time. And that mixture is beautiful. It's just this, uh, you know, this self-awareness that I think is uh, really fascinating to hear through a song, you know, in a voice. Um, a song about realizing, like, how to be alone, how to deal with that, how to move forward, you know, how to, how to realize that you can be sad even though you think you're uh, untouchable or maybe uh, too strong for something like that. Get set for the blues. It's one of those things where it's like, no matter what you do, you can't shake those blues off. They're going to come get you. Um, you know, I love the lyrical play on this thing. Um, some great lyrics on this thing, the way they bounce against each other. And the syncopation is really well done. Um, her voice hits moments of sweetness, introspection, um, and almost at times whispering. Uh, but there's a tinge of weariness again. I love that, like... Um, it's, it, to me, it's very ear catching. You know, it kind of it, it takes your attention away from anything else in the room or whatever else you're doing, and kind of like focuses you in on lis listening to her voice. Very articulate, warning you that like, hey, be mindful of the blues. They might be around the corner. <laughs> Invitation to the blues. Um, slow, kind of bouncy on this one. Um, Julie's voice is really clear and light. Um, you know, and it, for there's moments where it's kind of raw and maybe a little bit natural, or maybe a little bit like not putting on a show or something. Um, a little bit careless, but it's very appealing because of that. Um, it's like a whole different side of her voice, you know, only four or five songs in, but you get a different vibe from what she's giving across. And then you get more of that big bombastic orchestral kind of stuff, which again, I'm a sucker for. <laughs> um, side one ends with a song called Bye Bye Blues, which for me, this was a very interesting track. Um, really quiet guitars, like lots of piccolos, I believe, um, brassy horns, and Julie's voice is cautious, um, but like lyrically, the song sounds happy, so it's kind of a weird, like, don't talk, put your head on my shoulder, pet sounds kind of vibe here, where like, the lyrics are kind of happy, but the music is like, not so happy, um, 
it's kind of a weird track. Like musically hits some weird, like dissonant minor melodies, um, which is kind of an interesting balance to have on this album. It definitely breaks up the feel of like the, the jazzy ballroom kind of piano thing. So cool way to end side one. It's also the shortest song on the album at a minute and 35. Uh, side two starts off with Meaning of the Blues and, um, you know, more of a melancholy kind of track. Um, her voice can be like really deep and breathy at times on this one, which is cool because it shows off her range where she can get that really like kind of low kind of voice. Um, and again, another kind of like ominous weariness feeling to her voice, uh, you know, with the onset of the blues happening. Um, you know, and it, it's <laughs> it's kind of a hard album to get through sometimes, but I also love it at the same time because like you get the point. Um, but the dedication that's there is unshakable. Like, we had a goal in mind. Every song's gonna be about the blues. They're all gonna be kind of sad, down-tempo songs, but, like, if that's the mood you're in, bingo, here's your album. Uh, about the Blues is the title track and kind of an ode to the classic blues feel. Uh, it's a song about being down and out. It's really pensive. It's patient. It's a track that mostly relies on the vocals, which I do enjoy. Kind of the music kind of takes a back burner, and just Julie's voice kind of leading the path here. Um, Sunday blues, uh, no, no blues for her on this time. Not on Sundays. Um, you know, I love the fluttery sax that happens throughout this thing, and the fills that kind of you know bounce against her voice. Uh, the blues is all I ever had. Musically, a little quiet, um, uh, but Julie's storytelling through her voice makes this one kind of work. Not my favorite song on this one, but not too bad. Uh, Blues in the Night, a little more lively, digging this one. Um, not too much to say about that beyond that. And then bu uh, Bouquet of Blues, not, not, not Buku's of Blues by Mr. Richard Stuckey, but uh, Bouquet of Blues, which um, has some fantastic lines. There's a line in there called, that goes on um, Misery and High Heels, which I, wow, awesome line. Really dig that. Um, some great melodies, and I think vocally it's one of the best songs on the album, and, and musically too. Um, you know, it's, 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 the music is slightly stripped back, I'd say, but, um, you know, nothing is stripped back in her presentation and the, the, uh, the detail that went into the song work for that one. So, but that's how the album ends. Here's the back cover. It's your typical standard 50s back cover, you know, nothing really to write home about there. But you get that cool bluish-green Liberty label from the 50s. So um, overall, this is definitely an interesting album. It's not something I probably will listen to all the time, but um, you have to be in the mood for it. Because um, it's kind of, it, it's a sad album. There's like, every song is about the blues. So it's not something you're, you're going to put on and be like, yeah, let's put on about the blues again. It's like, no, I think I'm ready for about the blues. Like maybe I had a bad week at work or maybe... Uh, you know, things aren't going so hot in your life right now and you need to, like, reflect with music and have somebody else tell their story. This would be the album for that. Um, I love the cover. I love the imagery. Um, it's her standing alone with this kind of dull backdrop. But I love the text. I love that text. I think that's really cool. Um, but, yeah, it's just, um, interesting package. Really is an interesting package. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it, like, a 6 or a 7 out of 10. Um, by the time the album ends, you've kind of had, for, for me personally, this is just my opinion. Remember, it's just, it's just music. It's just my opinion. Um, by the end of the album, I was kind of like a little like, all right, I think I'm done. Like I, I get the point. Um, but again, if you're in the mood for it, this would be awesome. So <laughs> that's my, that's my weird review on that. But yeah, anyways, um, I think the craftsmanship on this thing, I think the musicianship, I think the detail, I think the, the, the cohesive thought the effort and the whole package of it was well put, put together and well presented. So on that effort, totally A plus on that. Um, but yeah, for me, I, I kind of got the point after a while. So I'd probably give it a 7 or 8 out of 10. I think it's really well done. I think her voice is fantastic. And I think the music on it is, is great, but there's a lot of it. And there's not a whole lot of changes that happen throughout this thing. But still worth a listen. I think still deserves a spin. So have you heard it? What do you think of it? Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of other random albums on my channel, and I say random, like, not necessarily just straight-up rock and roll albums, because there's so much music out there to talk about, and it helps me, uh, understand other forms of music better, and gets me into different genres and everything else, so, hey, why not? I hope you're going to stick along for the ride, so, Julie London, about the blues, this has been Album Reviews, with me, 
Giggins. That didn't rhyme. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.